a satisfactory outcome, Starfleet is reasonably pleased. Reasonably? Here are your new assignments. Telsia, you will command the security force on the USS Dallas. Chell... You're breaking up the hazard team? Precisely. Chell, you are assigned to the research outpost in the Guernica system. Not even a starship? Precisely. Monroe, I've assigned you to teach small group tactics here at Starfleet Academy. You also assigned Tuvok to teach math? Monroe is nursemaiding cadets? Precisely. That is his best use. Saving lives is no longer useful? Read Janeway's report. She said the hazard team is a vital asset. Precisely. Vital to the Delta Quadrant. Your so-called hazard team relied on non-regulation tactics. And no so-called star bases for backup. Precisely. Here in the Alpha Quadrant, traditional away teams are sufficient. The hazard team takes missions that are too hot for traditional away teams. There is no hazard team. Oh, yes, there is. And it outnumbers you. What? What was that? Everyone calm down. Stemmons, what Captain Janeway prized was our ability to improvise flexible tactics for any situation. Precisely. Such extemporaneous tactics are no longer appropriate. You should be grateful we have a place for you at all. Why aren't you grateful for a chance to relax after seven long years of strife? I don't understand this at all. Precisely. You don't understand. At all. I can't believe he's disbanding the hazard team. Come on, Monroe. Just give me five minutes alone with him. So you can be thrown into the brig? Chang's right. We have to do something. How do incompetent people end up with such important jobs? Maybe we can get him fired for being a hack. Whoa. Even Chell wasn't this bloodthirsty fighting the Borg. I'm going to file an appeal with Starfleet Command. Someone in the chain of command will listen to reason. And if that doesn't work? Then we make some hard choices. Damn. Hmm. So, where am I meant to be going? Lieutenant Monroe, you have a visitor waiting for you at the main entrance. Ah, that's where I'm off to. Ground level. Greetings, Lieutenant. Tuvok, what are you doing here? I had time for a brief stopover on my way to Vulcan. Congratulations on your new assignment. Thanks, but I don't want to leave active duty for teaching. There are few jobs more important than teaching. But I will explain your plight to my colleagues. Thanks, Tuvok. I just think I can be of better use out there. The Academy offers contact with many prominent people. Demonstrations of talent and initiative do not go unnoticed. Commander Tuvok, please report to Launch Pad 2. It was an honor to serve with you. The honor was mine, Lieutenant Monroe. Live long and prosper. The character Lieutenant design. Lieutenant Monroe, please report to the Headmaster's office. Well, before I was interrupted, character design is a lot nicer in this version of the game it's Can you believe it? much more Voyager returned after detailed. Uh, well, look at these gardens. This looks pretty cool, doesn't it? You've even got the flags. So, well, I guess we're up into one of these blocks. Although, it does look quite small a campus. You'd have thought it'd be a bit Bigger. Hmm. Anyway, to the left. Headmaster's office. I swear that it's all right. You have my complete. 
a mission. I really want to see what it's like. Um, ah, here we are. Lieutenant Monroe reporting, sir. Ah, good to meet you, Lieutenant. I have your teaching assignment. You'll be instructing the cadets in small unit tactics. Is that it? You even look at me. Hmm. I guess we've learned. Tell Sid to Monroe. Else. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Starfleet's answered our petition. That was very fast. Ground level. We have only just sent it, I guess. Hmm. Maybe it's like the um, consortium put in the thing and they think, and you get an answer back in seconds. Ah, here you are, Tausia. Starfleet Command declined to hear our appeal. I see. What are you going to do? What can I do? Resign. And that will get the team back how? It'll show Stemmons the price of stupid decisions. It'll show Stemmons he can bully us out of Starfleet. We end up paying the price, not him. Until the Borg pay a little visit, or the Romulans, or... The Dallas is a good ship. At least you're back in action. If I accept. What if we both resign? At least we can be together. We have choices now. So, are we going to not let her throw away her career for me? We both need Starfleet, or we've had some fun but it's over. Hmm. I didn't even know we were really in a relationship. It won't work. We both need Starfleet, or we'll go stir crazy. Well, maybe you're right. I'll miss you. Oh, they're just friends and colleagues. Two years later. Romulan sneak attack. Federation troops There's in here. Run. Oh yes, Romulans. Fun Cover creatures, me, aren't they? Door. Federation troops in here. I do like the uh, good old compression rifle. Good burst of power. The door is malfunctioning. We need to find a way past it and repair mm. it from the other side. Can you let me through this core hatch then? A service dump. This should lead to the next chamber. I will open the ducts. Please do. Come on. The service ducts are open. I Perfect. will activate the door when you reach the other side. Oh, it's a little um dangerous down here. Klingons really don't think much of um, good maintenance, do they? Uh, where are we? Hatch. So, where are these Romulans? There. So, I think we can sort the power system out now. And this is another type of the puzzles. Connect up the power! <laughs> well done! That was simple. Do I hear more Klingons? Oh, and another one. And they go down pretty easy, don't they? Drop your Second five is still just as good as it was in the first game. Where are we off to then? Downwards! More 
Kurwa mnie na We have a small corridor this time. Corbett, execute hazard maneuver Monroe Alpha 3. Right, we have a bat left this time. Interesting. So, we never actually had in the last game. Any um real melee combat, but now we do. The only problem is once melee, it is very close action. Thanks, Corban. Good work. I guess that's the end of the lesson. Uh, Lieutenant Monroe, this is Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I enjoyed observing your holodeck session. Very impressive. Yes, thank you, Monroe. And now we're very sorry, but the captain is on a very tight schedule. I'm sure the headmaster's reception can wait a few minutes. Lieutenant Monroe, I was wondering where you trained. The Delta Quadrant. I beg your pardon? I led the hazard team on Voyager, sir. Hazard team? Yes, the hazard team was completely superfluous. Excuse me? Superfluous? Precisely. Federation space is so completely different from the lawless Delta Quadrant. My research clearly shows that Starfleet captains do not need hazard teams. I see. And are you a Starfleet captain? Well, no, but... The challenges we face on the outer edges of Federation space are not so different from what Voyager faced in the Delta Quadrant. I could use an elite force of tactical officers. But... Tell me, Lieutenant, do you ever think about going back on active duty? Every second of my life. I'll talk to your commanding officer. Perhaps I can arrange a transfer. Thank you, sir. Draw up a list of personnel and cadets you would like on a new hazard team. I'm sure Mr. Stemmons can make the arrangements. I... Uh, well... Precisely.